It's the thing I love about New York. Sometimes even a garbage pail has more style and and rock and roll than anything. Anything. Look at this shit. Man. Look at the wall. This is wall art, you know. <laughs> Joystick doesn't like it. You see? Marcus Conti, just doing some New York strolling today. Ah, sicky icky. Say hello to icky, sticky. <laughs> Graffiti art, alive and well in New York. Hmm. The artists. Look at Bowie. Bowie immortified. Immortalized. David Bowie. Yeah. Uh, Marcus Conti reporting. Nothing really going on in the news. No big stories. What's the big story? Uh, Trump tried to buy Greenland. They told him, go, they told him to fuck off. <laughs> I like to buy Greenland. Uh, ooh, Hulk Hogan. It's pretty cool. We just we'll take a little art art walk. There's Hulk Hogan. Remember him, the wrestler. So Trump tries to buy Greenland. Epstein, well Epstein news too. He had a he had a, uh, a a young woman visiting him in in jail. You heard? She was she was in with the lawyers. They spent like two three hours. Locked door. Come on, man. This shit is crazy, man. This fucking guy. It doesn't look like he, um, it's looking more like Nick Tataglione, the Italian guy. Tataglione fucking choked that bitch. Killed him. So there's some art going on here. In a racist society, it is not enough to not be, to be non-racist. We must be anti-racist. So there's some super left propaganda on the walls here. Take a little stroll. A little stroll down the left. Down here in the, uh, I'm below Houston Street, so I guess we call it the, I'm actually above Houston, so we call it the uh, East Village. It's pretty wild, that. Eh? A green man. <laughs> Alessandra Acasio Cortez. She's, she's got her own mural on the wall. I love her. Look at that shit. I don't know if it looks like it. Does it look like it? Yeah, it looks like it. So just strolling. So uh, so Epstein had a can had a little visitor. That's pretty heavy. Yeah. It's gotta piss people off. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty cool. Yeah, man. Joyride. Joyride, man. What's this? Ooh. Some dark imagery right here. What are we trying to say? Got a young kid, got the, the mother and the father fighting. Wow. Intense imagery for the... Uh... <laughs> there we go. One nation, one team. One nation, one team. Ooh, coming to get you. Coming to get you. Wow, that's loud. Hmm. A lot of artists, they put a lot of time into this stuff. Even the sticker art, check it out. Any sticker art? Stickers. I have stickers if you want to buy my stickers. Marcus Conti, dot, Marcus Conti on eBay. Get your stickers. Ah, you want to put a sticker up? I want to put a sticker up. Put a sticker up. Put a sticker up. Ready? Let's put it up. Take out a spot. You don't want to, you don't want to cover anybody when you do it. Put it down here. Right down there. Ah, we're on the wall. We're on the wall of fame. 
So, I'm sorry. I got a lot more to go. We're only halfway there. So that's really all I'm, I'm contemplating. It definitely, I mean, in terms of the Epstein thing, I definitely think we're now talking about murder. And it also occurs to me that's precisely what everybody wants, what the establishment now wants everybody to think is the most important story of the day. You got all the Trumpsters, they're so excited. They're so excited, they think the deep state is getting drained. But really, their pockets are getting drained. That's about it. Epstein is a bad hombre, no doubt. That is one bad hombre. But that ain't gonna change shit, man. <laughs> Just because he's dead, what do you think? Oh yeah, the pedophiles. Pizzagate. <laughs> Pizza. Pizzagate. It's over. Was there anything, was there any, any real significance to Pizzagate? I don't know, I don't think so. Is every politician in Hollywood, and every, every politician a pedophile? Is every, every guy in Hollywood a, a, a pedophile? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. So, that's the end of the line right there. Are you an artist? No? It's strange, you don't talk to people in New York anymore. Everybody's so uptight. Fights breaking out. A lot of hostility. Uh, take a walk, man. So, that's really all I got today. I'm just, um, just doing a little strolling, a little, little, a little, a little reconnection with my hood. Down here in the uh, East Village. Now I'm walking down towards the Lower East Side, so. That's just a wall. That's just any random wall. It's fucking crazy, right? Beautiful. A lot of work goes into that shit. Across the street, try not to get killed. If you're ever gonna get hit by a car, it's gonna be in New York. It's gonna be getting hit by a bus. Most reckless, reckless drivers around. So, so what else? I'm kind of, kind of short on words today. Let's give you a little tour, you know. It's where the real New Yorkers hang out. There's tourists sprinkled in, but mostly New Yorkers. This is a cool place. It's uh, old Jewish knishes. Potato Kanish. Yona Schimmel. Yona Schimmel's Kanish Bakery. Let's see what it looks like. Ah. You want some? Oops. Food. Good food. Yona Schimmel. Hmm. Kosher. Kosher food. Wow, these guys are building a... Always oh, building something in New York. Check this shit out. Check this shit out. These guys are building a motherfucking... I don't know what. This guy's building, man. Working a crane, I guess. Working a crane. <laughs> oh, pubs. Woo, it's hot out too. It's hot outside. It's hot in New York. It's hot in New York. Uh, some more, some more wall art. Oh, these guys are hooking it up, man. Oh, east side. I got some art going up. Say again. Got some art going up. Ah, artists at work. It's a whole team of them.
bless you. This is Marilyn. Marilyn Monroe, you saw? Marilyn Monroe. That's a cool bike right there. Look at this guy on his bike. Got a three-wheeler. Got a three-wheeler. This is cool too. Pretty cool sidewalk right there. Ah, the city I live in. My city. And in New York, you can walk by people laying on the street, right? taking a nap. Just taking a nap. I'm tired. That's a quiet block. This Eldridge, Eldridge Street, Lower East Side. Used to be a lot of clubs down here. I don't know if they're still here. Turns into bar scene at night. Ruckus bar scene. <laughs> it's 12 minutes of your life. You can't get back. <laughs> Hanging out with me because I got nothing to do. <laughs> do a little strolling, strolling. What else is going on in the world? I don't know. I didn't see anything today. So I like just. How many times can we talk about Epstein, right? I don't think anything is going to happen. I, I don't think it's going to. It's going to amount to a hill of beans. Nobody's going to get locked up. <laughs> they got the guy. They killed him. He was going to snitch on everybody and it killed him. That's, what's, that's the story. <laughs> right? That's the story, right? That is, is, come on, is that the story? I think it is. I think that's the story. There's some art over here. Who's this guy? Stop guns. Hmm. How? <laughs> Stop guns. You can't be just anti-racist. You have to be super racist, super anti-racist. Well, then it doesn't count. Then it doesn't count. Let's go this way. Very close to Chinatown, but I don't think I'm going to walk all the way down there by the time I get there. It'll be too long. Do -do -do -do. Tattoo chicks. Chicks with dicks. <laughs> Maybe not. You always got to poke around before you go, you know. Move in for the excuse me, and you, you do a little bump. Make sure there's no 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 equipment before you go in for the kill. <laughs> excuse me, was that your wallet or or is there something else? Chicks with dicks. Ah, <laughs> oh, here's a big liberal statement for you. A lot of liberal statements going on here. Look at this one. Love beyond borders. Love. Love beyond borders. It's cool I like that. Oh, thank you. Love beyond borders. We can love, but we don't have to give all our shit to, to the people beyond the borders. We can love them. <laughs> Blow them a kiss across the border. <laughs> Doesn't mean you have to give up all your shit to the border. You know what I'm saying? La 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 Ah, that's the uh, Lower East Side. There's a lot of clubs down here. And I will show you 
I see shows. The slipper room. Hmm. Can't say I've ever been inside. I can't say I've ever been. And uh, cross in between. Cross at the green, not in between, as they say. Or you will get hit by a goddamn car. This is an old, this is a good club right here. It's called uh, Arlene's Grocery. You know Arlene's Grocery? Arlene's Grocery. I played there a few times. Do my rock and roll. Do my pornographic rock band. Sticking my dick in retarded chick. Get some people a free plug. Some people a free plug. Come see my band. Come see my band. We're playing rock and roll and nobody's listening. Playing rock and roll. We're playing rock and roll and nobody wants to hear us. Hey. La 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 la. Huh. On a three hour tour, a three hour tour. Ah, these are some good clubs right here. Oh wow, they knocked, they knocked two of them away. Oh, this is a nice wall right here. Check this wall out. Give it this wall, slow on the wall. Slow wall. Some wild ass wall. So it has a very interesting club, Piano Bar. That's a, actually kind of famous, up and coming. A lot of a lot of wannabe rock and roll types playing there. Piano Bar. Piano Bar. There used to be another one called the Cupcake Cupcake Lounge or some shit. Pink Pussycat. I don't know. Some other pink some something with pink in it. <laughs> I guess it's gone. That's some art for you. Oh my God. Oh my god! I'm blue! How did I? I'm purple. I'm purple. Ah, la, la. I was just up by NYU too. I was up at uh, Washington Square Park asking, asking students, just poking around, you know. <laughs> I was just poking around saying, hey, you know, who are you going to vote for? What do you think of the election? They don't know much about Epstein going on. They just think it's some crazy story. We love it, but the conspiracy-minded people love it. But a lot of the, a lot of the uh, young people are not paying attention to that. They're paying attention to the election. They are watching. They seem, I'm telling you, it seems that it seems it's still Bernie Sanders, and it still looks like uh, Elizabeth Warren making great strides. Surprising. I just hope people don't, you know, think that she could win. <laughs> Ah, politics. Guys, all I got to do, now I said Bernie Sanders. I said it, right? And now some 25, every time I say Bernie, 25 comments below have to unwind Bernie and say Trump. <laughs> that's, the, that's the climate we're living in, the MAGA, the MAGA, the MAGA team. Ah, they're getting, they're trying to get even. They're trying to correct the record, you remember? Remember correct the record? Remember those clowns in 2016? They tried to, they tried to, every time you said Hillary, Hillary sucks a big one, they came in and tried to shut us down. <laughs> we ain't voting for Hillary and they, and they tried to insult you. That was correct the record. <laughs> and then he blamed Russia. They're going to do the same thing, stupid Democrats. They're so fucking stupid. They're so stupid. Ooh, you want to see, you want to see a team? I don't know what's going on over here, but I like it. Ah, uh, young kids. They're young. They're young and impressionable. Somebody's taking a photo shoot over here. I have no idea what that is. It's good rice and beans joint over here too. I used to live a few blocks away. I used to live on Grand Street in Chinatown on a roof over a fish market. 
to smell like fish. About two years, two years of my life, I lived on a roof. A nice roof with a view. It was, it was cool, man. Barbecue. Ah. Back in the day when I was somebody. Now I'm just some jerk on YouTube. <laughs> I got demoted. I got demoted. I lost my life. I was so famous. What is fame anyway? Who cares? You can see me. See? There's my reflection. That's the real me. You see the real me? Can you see the real me? Can ya? Can ya? <laughs> I don't know. You can see the real me. So, this is Orchard Street. How do you end up here? Aimless wandering. Aimless. So this is uh, what used to be called uh, Jewtown, <laughs> for lack of a better term. It was all Hasids. They own all these, uh, all these clothing stores. It used to be, it used to be a bit of a deal. Uh, you used to come down here and you could bargain with people, you know. And now it's dead. Nobody comes down here anymore. Nobody wants that cheap shit. <laughs> Nobody wants knockoff bullshit. They used to have to, it was so crowded, they used to shut the block down. Not anymore. Not anymore. Ah, the fight shop. That was pretty cool. Muhammad Ali. I am the greatest. I must be the greatest. Muhammad Ali. Cassius Clay. Oh, here's Max Fish. This is a place that moved, Max Fish. Popular, very popular. I used to play pool in here all the time. So I used to hone my, my pool hustling skills. I don't know if they still have a pool table though. Max Fish. Hmm. Let's see if you can see. Doo -de -doo -de -doo. Can you see the real me? Can you? Can you see Max? Can you see Max fish? You see any fish? <laughs> Fishing. Maybe it's the beginning of June. No, I think it's the beginning of June. Uh, I'll give you two more minutes and I'll let you go. Thanks for sharing this Friday afternoon with me. At least you got to see downtown, you know, downtown. Got a little update on, on Epstein, got a little update on the new, on, on Trump trying to buy Greenland. What a fucking, what a moron. They try to buy Greenland, try to sink Venezuela. Ah, power grabs. Guys are all power grabs. Power grab, power grab. I try to cross the street without getting killed over here. Won't we'll try to cross the street without getting run over. Got music on his uh, go kart there, on his wheelchair. Yeah, it's Chinatown. Chinatown. Oh, Chinatown. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you, Chinatown. Hong Kong. Ah. Oh, Hong Kong has uh, tried their strike today. I don't know how effective it was. I didn't see any. I didn't see any devastating news. I did see something on uh, Bloomberg that they're aware that the that the uh, locals are trying to pull all their money out they are aware of it the banking system in hong kong is aware that they're trying to freeze the bank so they got enough attention to to, to at least at least you know tip off the authorities that it is that it is happening uh, but thus far ineffective thus far ineffective Woo you got Nazi bike riders. These fuckers will run you over. You gotta, you gotta throw your elbow into their face when they pass. Say, oh, excuse me. Did I, did I mean? Did I put my elbow in your mouth? I'm sorry. 
Go on the bike path. Oh, fuck off the bike path, you fucking motherfucker. Get off the fucking bike path. There, there, there. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, now we're heading towards uh, Chinatown. Chinatown. Oh, yeah. You see now all the, all the, all the um, storefronts will turn and turn, start turning Chinese. This is a good restaurant right here if you guys are ever downtown on Allen Street, Kanji Village and Bar. I don't know about the bar part, but the kanji, man, is fucking good shit. Kanji Village, it's a, um, kanji isn't, uh, it, really all it is is boiled rice. It's kind of like a boiled rice mix, and, uh, they'll put anything on top of it. They'll put fish on it, they'll put vegetables, you know, I haven't been there in a long time. But, uh, and now I'm a vegetarian, so it's, it's hard to get anything good to eat. It's hard to get anything good to eat in this town. And you're vegetarian. You care more about the plants. You care more about the animals than your own gut. Yeah, I do. I'll kill it here. Marcus Conte reporting from New York City.